Moving to the singlet for measurements, it has an all measure function, which as you see displays uh, in the upper left hand corner, so pretty much the same as the Rigol. Uh, 36 measurements I think instead of 33, but I didn't see any that uh, were really significant in the differences. The other thing too, this one and the Rigol both have statistical measurements. So now let's uh, do some cursor measurements and then we'll finish up with the auto measurement functions. You get into cursor measurements by pressing the cursors button up here. Uh, here you see two cursors on the screen and you basically switch back and forth between them by pushing the uh, the button that uh, measures, that uh, is basically the all functions button. So we'll move this cursor. So at any rate, there is the, the cursors. And you see here that the, uh, the delta T, the one uh, over delta T, which is the frequency, as well as the X1 and X2 values are shown. And in case you're hearing beeps in the background, the uh, the difference is that there are actually three modes for cursors. One is uh, to move a single cursor and then to move to the next cursor so it's if you're on this cursor and you push the uh, the button the universal button once you move to this cursor if you push it again the two cursors are locked and you can move both of them together so once again this is the uh, cursor measurement hopefully we can get it to uh, focus there and go in on that and there you see you're reading the delta voltage as well as the absolute uh, X and Y values relative to zero. So I'm now going to move on and do the automatic measurements on the uh, signalant. To, uh, to get the measure menu you uh, press the measure button. Uh, you then can choose the type and what happens is a uh, selection screen comes up. In other words, unlike the Rigol where there's a list of uh, different ones down here and you have to scroll around, here you, uh, you see the ones that are picked right now, voltage peak to peak, and period. And if you look down here, the voltage peak to peak and period is shown there. So basically, the way you pick them is you, you scroll, and for example, if you want, uh, let's see what's that one, VMAX, so we'll push that one, and then down here you'll see that VMAX shows up at the bottom. Once again, the uh, you can only have five active at a time. You can clear as you can on the other. Also, uh, you can do a gate function. When you turn the gate on, you get a couple of cursors. One is uh, cursor A and cursor B. You also can have the relative, that is cursor A to B. If you select that, then the cursors move together. If you select an individual cursor, like cursor B, then you can move that cursor independently. And what this is doing is determining the gate that the automatic measurement is going to use. Voltage max and so on are limited by 
cursors just as they are on the Rigol. Now we're going to do some delay measurements and what I've done there is once again I brought up the type and then up here you see there's a channel 1 uh, set of measurements you can select the source but you also can select channel 1 and channel 2 Let's see if we can get that to focus again let me move it off and it might show up a little better there it is channel 1 and channel 2 you you select it with the selector knob and then you push it and now it's doing channel delay between one channel and another you can do phase you can do all sorts of different uh, measurements and here is one place that I think the uh, siglent may shine a little bit over the Rigol I'm going to show you down here on the in the manual so I think it's a little easier to read you can do things like the time between the first rising edge and the first uh, of channel one and the first rising edge of channel two and then it says a 50 voltage level I think they mean of the 50 percent voltage level basically what these mean F means is it the first or is it the last and then the then R is rising and F is falling so this says first rising to falling this one says first falling to falling and so on there are basically nine functions you can use and maybe because I've played around with this one a little more than the Rigol uh, I really like these measurements because if you go up here I'll show you what you do you for example go to this one it explains by the way what it's going to be doing this is first rising rising and you see down here the measurement first rising rising from 1 to 2 is 2 microseconds so the nice thing about it and by the way it'll also do a phase measurement uh, I don't know if I showed you that or not but right here is a phase measurement from one to the other which is quite a bit more accurate than the listen you figures at least the way I use them uh, so I would say that overall the uh, measurement functions of the two scopes are essentially the same except I like the uh, time or delay measurement phase delay measurements better in the siglet but the Rigol has an interesting feature I didn't show you which is you can display the history of your measurements and it's really kind of neat to be able to graph the measurements uh, on the screen I can't find a history function or at least not that kind of history function on the siglet so what I would say is the the delay measurements of the siglet I think are better than the Rigol but the Rigol has the additional history function which I think gives it uh, some advantages as well so I'm going to end the measurement uh, phase here and move on to uh, to the next phase in, in these videos.